Hey everyone, welcome to That's Good Denver. I'm your host, Chris Romeo, and today I'll be breaking down the last two Broncos games. First, the uh, Broncos lost 17-14 against the Browns, but the Broncos bounced back and got a big win yesterday against the Washington football team, 17-10. So, you know, uh, Broncos were on a four-game losing streak, not looking very good. Um, then they bounced back against Washington, got the dub that they much needed. And uh, you're, right now they're at 4-4 four and four right now. You know, they're a half game out of a playoff spot behind, behind the Steelers and the Chargers right now. We're both 4-3, and three, so, you know, not too far behind behind a playoff spot. And uh, lo- some crazy stuff happened earlier this morning around the NFL. First, Derrick Henry might be out for the season uh, with a foot injury at least 6-10 to 10 weeks. Um, Von Miller, sadly, he has been traded to the Rams. Uh, yeah, that's kind of stinks. Um, you know, I mean, he hasn't been as good, like, since 2015, but, like, I mean, you know, it stinks because he's always been a Bronco. He's well-known as Bronco. I was hoping he'd win another Super Bowl with us. Um, but, yeah, he's going to the Rams now, and they'll be really good with him now. I mean, he's hurt right now. But another, another crazy thing, James, Jameis Winston on the Saints is out for the season. Uh, well, they just beat the Buccaneers yesterday, which was impressive. So, uh, yeah, Jameis Winston being out, I mean, Trevor Simeon is going to be their starting quarterback, so I'm not sure how well that's going to go for them. Um, former Bronco there. Um, but yeah, let's break down the last two games. So, the game against the Browns... Um, we ended up losing 17-14. We were, our offense couldn't get going at all in the first half. Then our offense started picking up more in the second half. Made it 10-7 to at one point. Uh, I think it was a touchdown pass to Melvin Gordon. And then uh, Browns went right down the field, went up 17-7. We couldn't stop the run all night against here and Johnson for the Browns. Um, <clears throat> and then we come back, get a touchdown, Javante Williams with six minutes left, cut the game 17-14. Then the Browns run out the clock. They We couldn't stop the run again. DeHaron Johnson got like 150 yards in the night, and he ends up running the clock out, and the game's over. The Browns win 17-14. That's a pivotal loss, too, because uh, Browns are 4-4. Four and four. We're 4-4. Four and four. They have the tiebreaker over us now cause, for the rest of the season because that win. Um, but we bounced back against Washington yesterday. That feels a lot better. Um, you know, it was a Low scoring game. Uh, you know, neither offense really got going in the first quarter, almost the whole first half. Then uh, Denver goes down the field at the end of the first half, just like they did early in the season. Got down the field, scored a touchdown. I think it was, well, Teddy Bridgewater had some good passes down the field, like Tim Patrick. And then it was a touchdown pass to Melvin Gordon down the sideline for about 15 yards, touchdown. Broncos go up 10 3. And then, uh, not much scoring most of the third quarter. Then end of the third quarter, uh, Taylor Heineke for the Washington uh, puts the drive together, throws a touchdown pass uh, down the sideline, ties the game at 10-10. Uh, then we got into a little bit of trouble in the fourth quarter. Uh, we couldn't get anything going on offense. We Brandon McManus missed a 53-yard field goal. Tough field goal, I mean, but he barely missed that field goal. Would have put us up 13-10. Then right after that drive, uh, Washington goes down the field and uh, <clears throat> gets in a field goal range. Gives field goal attempt for the lead, but it gets blocked by Shelby Harris. <coughs> Sorry. Um, Sh- Shelby Harris had two big blocks. Shelby Harris also had a block back in the second quarter and that block that kept the game tied. That was huge. Um, hats off to him. Then we go down the field. Uh, then Melvin Gordon punches it in for a seven-yard touchdown run to put the Broncos up 17-10. Washington drives down the field, gets it down to our like own nine-yard line. Then uh, we get a big sack. I think Malik Reed got the sack. Then uh, Heineke drops back to path fourth and goal and a long goal, and he throws an interception. Justin Simmons has it, and you know then technically Washington still had a chance because they had three timeouts left. So we had to run out the clock. Then uh, on third down, Melvin Gordon fumbles the ball, unfortunately. Washington gets it back with like 20 seconds left at our own 18-yard line. Uh, but our defense prevailed. Patrick Sertan had a good play on a ball. Um, 
And then Heineke got sacked. I think Malik Reed or maybe Shelby Harris got the sack on that. I can't remember. Um, then on fourth and goal, uh, we, then uh, for the last play of the game for Washington, uh, it was a throw to, towards the end, end zone with eight seconds left, and it wasn't even close out of the back of the end zone. Bronco, Broncos win 17-10. Got back on track, thankfully. So, yeah, going forward, I mean, our playoff chance is probably a good chance, probably about 50-50 at this point. Uh, you know, we just got to start playing better. You know, it stinks that Von Miller is going to be out. I think our run defense is going to be hard for us, and, you know, we have a tough game against the Cowboys this coming week. You know, like, they're one of the best teams in the league right now. So, yeah, hopefully, you know, we can, you know, respond well to Von Miller being gone now and uh, getting traded to the Rams. And, you know, I think this team has some upside. I mean, there's some winnable games down the stretch. Um, yeah, I'll talk more about it in another video because actually after this video I'm going to do uh, – who I think is going to make it to the playoffs or not. But let me know in your comments down below about this Broncos 17-10 win. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment over the last two games. And, yeah, we're back on track 4-4. Four four. Let's keep it rolling, hopefully get in the playoffs. That That's it, everybody. I'm Chris Romeo, and that's good Denver.